Hola, hola, Queen Bee Baker. So here is how I made my super easy golf cake pops. Now, if you've seen it on my TikTok or on my Instagram, you guys know what I'm talking about. If not, enjoy. And this is how I make them. So first, you're going to need a golf ball mold. And I have that in my Amazon store. And some mini cupcake liners. I prefer the foil ones because they hold up better and they give a better grass effect, in my opinion. Um, then you're going to need some candy melts or any kind of chocolate melts that you prefer to use. Um, I'm using these ones. Again, I go through different varieties. This is just what I'm using. Um, green and white, obviously, just like the golf one, golf cake pops that I am showing you guys. And an already made golf ball size uh, cake pop. So just a regular cake pop already dipped one layer, one thin layer of chocolate. If you guys don't know how to make just a regular cake pop, go ahead and look at my cake pop class. It's going to be in the description box as well. And a tool to help you swirl around some chocolate to get you the grass effect. So first, we're going to start with some white chocolate in the mold. Now this is super easy. I would say about half a teaspoon of the chocolate and you're just going to spread it around. I'm using this fun little stirrer. It's literally called a stirrer for like coffee and beverages. I think they're so easy to work with. I also have these in my Amazon store. Again, everything will be in the description box below. So I use it like a paddle and I put it around my uh, golf ball mold. And again, I just want to evenly distribute the chocolate. And it's okay if you have a pocket of chocolate that is um, stuck on the bottom per se. Then you're going to get your cake pop that already has the one layer of chocolate. And you're going to kind of squish it in the mold. Your cake pop ball size should already fit in the mold. If you double dip your cake pops, it will not fit in this mold. So just keep that in mind. And that's why I say only do uh, one dip at a time. I accidentally broke my cake pop. Um, this doesn't normally happen. This is just an older cake pop I had sitting in the fridge and I left it out on the counter and it cracked. Yep, but I fixed it. So yeah, you're literally just going to squish it in there, not too hard, and we're going to pop that in the refrigerator and let it sit for about five to ten minutes. When I take it out, Voila! I'm just carving the outside. You don't have to do this process if it's not too noticeable. But um, I, I think if you want a sharper, cleaner uh, golf cake pop, definitely do this method. And the bottom of the cake pop should already be flat or the if there's any excess, just take it off just like I'm showing you right here. Now, this is an easy way, an easy version to get a golf cake pop. Um, I do not do double sided because it is a cake pop. So you're probably going to get different sizes and you're probably dipping them in chocolate, which will result in different uh, roundness of the cake pop. And you're, you can do a double sided golf one, but it's, this is the easy version. I'm showing you guys an easier version and, and the effect is, is the same. Um, the, I actually did these for an order for a client and she was thrilled. She loved them. They were over the moon. Um, they had no problem about it not being double sided because the front was for show and it looked like golf cake pops. So now I'm just putting some green candy melts into the mini cupcake liner. I did make sure that the cake pop fit in the liner so you can size it to the cake pop. And then I'm generously putting the melt all over it up into the top because you don't want them to break on you. You want a nice thick coating. There's no additives of thinning into the green melts. It's literally just the green melt. Put it in the fridge for about five minutes and this part is my favorite. It's so satisfying. You see how a little piece broke off? That just means I didn't put enough green candy melts um, wherever that broke off. But as you see I get a nice even consistency of the cake pop all around bada bing bada boom <laughs> so easy you guys i promise this is the easiest way you can get a golf cake pop and 
um i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope this helps some of y'all if you have any questions you guys already know the drill leave them in the description box below i made these for the order and again they were super happy with them they look really realistic so yeah don't forget to like subscribe and follow me on my social